40 years of the history of Belfast are not really important. Um, and the pictures do, you know, one picture does tell a thousand words. Um, and we shouldn't underestimate what's been achieved here. And I think it's wonderful that it actually does it with some Belfast humour. I think it's entirely appropriate, you know, we've got Belfast mastermind up there, and <laughs> Belfast props and all of this, and it's just absolutely fantastic. Uh, the second thing it does is actually give us something that's unique, because the bottom line is, and all of us are available now, you can be on EasyJet for 20 quid and be in Glasgow, or you can jump in the train and be in Dublin. And the truth of the matter is that Belfast now has to stand on its own two feet and compete with other cities for people's time. You know, we have to get people to decide who want to choose to actually spend their time in this city. And for a city to do that, it needs unique attractions. And this is, there is no two ways about it, this is a fantastic, unique attraction in the heart of our city. And I think we need to, to really push that. And we'd certainly be doing our bit um, to help on that. And the third thing, and then I'll shut up, is um, for both Belfast folk um, and for visitors, people can come in here and in the picture capture a piece of Belfast in a moment. And that's your words, Gary. It sounded quite poetic. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing is <laughs> but it does, you can catch that bell fast in a moment and hopefully buy it, folks. Hope you broke your wallets. <laughs> hopefully buy it too. So those are three important things I think it achieved. And I just want to wish it all the best, all the very best, sincerely, and I'm sure it'll be very well. So congratulations, folks. Thank you. Thanks very much again for coming. And uh, enjoy yourselves. Okay, thanks.